Hello, KW agents. So I wanted to create a really quick video that I think might help your buyers and sellers if they are receiving DocuSign documents and just need some help on how to properly initial and sign those. So DocuSign documents are going to come over to your buyers or sellers directly from your email. Um, so they're going to get that in their email address, whatever email it is, and it's going to have your name on it via DocuSign. And then you would have named the email, whatever it is. This one, we named it video test. So as a client, if I click on the email, it's going to have who it was sent from and then contact information down here. And then down here, any sort of message that you as the agent might have put um, in the envelope. So then we're going to have a box right here that says review documents. It's a yellow little box. And it's the only option that they can really click on here is that to review the document. So we're going to click on review documents, then it takes them right into the documents that you have sent to them. So up here at the left, you'll see we've got your contact information as the agent, and then we've got a little box right here that says, I agree to use electronic records and signatures. Now you can click, uh, buyers or sellers can click right here to see more information about that. But once we're ready to sign or initial, we're just going to check the box right here. And once we check that box, we get this option over here that says continue. So we're going to click right on that. And then it's going to tell us at the top left right here exactly where we need to start. So we're going to click start on the button and it's going to drop us down to where we either need to sign or initial. And so if we click right on that, it comes up now this is where we just need to make sure that our name is properly spelled our legal name however we're legally signing documents that that's there so we've got our name then right next to that we've got our initials now right down here you're going to see the style that your signature will show um, if you would prefer to draw it you can do that if you prefer to upload it if you have it saved as a signature you can do that or we can also come back to select style, and if that doesn't look like our signature or we just don't like the look or the layout, we can change the style over here. But we're going to say that we're fine with that style, so we would just click on Adopt and Sign. So we're going to click on that. You only have to do that once, then it takes you right down to the next place that we're going to initial. So we're going to click Initial, drop down to the next one, Initial, drop down to the next one initial, and so on, and so forth. Now let's say that I continue to scroll and maybe I missed this one by accident, or maybe I have questions about whatever's on this page. I'm just gonna keep scrolling down and I'm gonna say initial here, go to the next one and in initial, the following one, the next one, and then down here, we've got a signature. Now this is the last final initial. So you'll see when I click on this, I think that I'm done, but it actually pops me right up to this one. And if I say, oh, nope, I'm ready, I wanna finish, it's actually gonna flash over here and it is a required initial or signature field. So I'll just click right on that just to complete everything. And then I'm able to click right up here on finish. Then a box pops up. Now I have an option that I'm able to create a free DocuSign account if I would like to. I definitely don't have to. At this option, I could also print the documents that I've signed or I could download them here. And I'm gonna say I don't wanna create any sort of DocuSign account. There's no need for it. So I'm just gonna say no thanks. Then I'll get a quick little confirmation here. You're done. You'll receive an email copy once everyone has signed. So if I was the buyers and I needed sellers to sign off, I would get an executed contract with both parties to sign. Um, and then I can also try out DocuSign on my own. So I hope this is helpful. It's really quick, really easy. If you have any questions, please let me know. And again, this is DocuSign 100% from a client side. So I hope this is helpful. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day.